My name's Joseph Chung and my sport is modern pentathlon. Well, originally I did swimming to quite a high level um, at my primary school and I always did a bit of rugby and cross country on the side of, as, well as, as well as that. And then when I joined my secondary school, Whitgift, we had one of the 2004 silver medalists, Kate Allenby, um, coaching there as a PE teacher and she set up a pentathlon club. So um, seeing that I could do the biathlons, just the running and the swimming, I sort of got drafted into, into the, the full modern pentathlon. I was at the Rio 2016 Olympics and that experience was just the best thing I've ever done. Going into the final competition, the combined run and shoot, I was actually in second place. Then I guess the nerves got to me a little bit and I missed a few shots from some of the shooting rounds which dropped me down to 10th but that's still a lot higher than I was expected to finish. Sporting wise, I'm definitely going to keep going till 2020 Tokyo. This year I was second going into like the last two rounds of the running so I expect in four years I'll be four years better and I'm I'm confident I'll be able to uh, finish off what I started this time. My name is Emily Diamond and my sport is athletics. Athletics was sort of always one of my um, favourite sports if you like. I was f fairly naturally um, fast on school sports days and on the tennis court and hockey pitch and things like that. That was my skill if you like, uh, was my speed. So my mum sort of brought me along to Bath University and I joined the sort of local long jump coach here and then sort of gradually moved across to the sprints coach and, and sort of went from there really and that's when I started to sort of really thrive and, and enjoy my athletics. And, get junior international international bests. So my biggest success would probably be have been this season. I had my best uh, season on the track yet where I um, became the national 400 meter champion and then a few months later we won the gold medal at the European Championships in the 4x400 relay and then a few months later we came away with a bronze medal at the Rio Olympics as well in the 4x400 meters so the Olympic medal would be probably my, my biggest achievement yet. And I've heard so many stories of people sort of staying up till the early hours of the morning because they wanted to watch all the athletics and they wanted to watch the other sports, the swimming and gymnastics and things like that which it's just amazing having that sort of support. My name is Laura Faulkner, I'm a CrossFit athlete. CrossFit is a sport of fitness, um, so we've got um, Olympic lifting, powerlifting, gymnastics movements, uh, running, rowing, pulling, pushing um, of all sorts of kinds. So it's um, all of these different movements like rolled into workouts. I've qualified for regionals as an individual the last two years. Um, that means I made it um, within the top 30 women in Europe. Um, I think there were 23,000 women that competed this year uh, within the region. I was part of the British national lifting squad. Um, that was for Olympic lifting, so snatch and clean and jerk. Um, I competed in the 53 kilo and under category. Um, I was bronze medalist at the British Championships last year um, after one year in the sport, so um, hopefully I can increase those to silver or gold. As one kilo on my total away from silver, um, so it's definitely within reach. I'm Piers Gilliver and I do wheelchair fencing. I found out about wheelchair fencing purely by chance and once I found out it existed I was like, we're going to have to give that a go. So I contacted a coach at my local club and he started teaching me and uh, just progressing then really, just love the sport. I started off by being the first Britain to win a World Cup and that was truly amazing and went on to win five more since then and, and, and also uh, silver medal at the European Championships, World Championships and now uh, Paralympic Games. It's a funny mix because uh, you know, obviously everyone wants the gold medal. <laughs> Uh, every athlete there does and every athlete's capable. So I'm going to start training for Tokyo um, and give all I can to make sure that that medal's got my name on it. <laughs> I think sport's you know, so important um, at whatever level you choose to do it. Um, for me, when I first started, um, I remember I wasn't interested in competing at all. Although fencing is an you know, individual sport, you're the only one on that piece, it's just you and the other, the other fencer. Uh, there's obviously a lot of work that's gone in behind you and you really feel that, that um, there's so many people that have helped you along the way. Mm -hmm.